This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by World Champion Peter Nessler. For this episode, we are in Pennsylvania. I'm at a beautiful elementary school here, just finished up doing an assembly, and they had this awesome stage and background, so I thought we would uh, film an episode while we're here. Um, for this episode, we're going to be covering the elephant cross for the JV, which is a variation on the toad and the inverse toad. And then the varsity skill is an EB um, toad wrap into a mamba. Kind of uh, another variation you can do on wrapping, like we covered in the last episode, doing some a little bit more advanced wrapping skills. So it's a little bit of variation on that, and it's you know, a lot of fun, and you can have some real creative things that you can do with it if you put a little bit of time and thought into your different skills. The JV skill. For the JV skill, we're going to be doing the elephant cross. Now, this is kind of a combination of a toad and inverse toad, uh, but you're going to be doing both arms at the same time. So, what it's going to look like when you're finished, you're going to be jumping cross on your leg and out. Now what we're going to be doing is basically, um, if you remember a toad, you cross one arm on top, one arm on bottom. The elephant cross, you cross both arms under your leg this direction. Now it doesn't matter which hand is on top, which hand is on bottom. Um, it's really irrelevant on this trick. Um, just pick whatever leg you feel more comfortable jumping on uh, to start with. Once you get that, make sure you can do it on both sides. If you do it in your right leg, make sure you do it under your left leg as well. So what you're going to do, you're going to be jumping. When the rope comes over, pick your leg up. Now, this one you're going to have to slow the rope down just a little bit to make sure it works, especially when you're first doing it. It's hard to keep it at the exact same pace as your regular single bounce. So you're going to slow down just a little bit, pick your leg up nice and high. This one's really hard to do if you have your leg down, so you want to make sure you pick it up as high as you can. Once you're up, bring both arms, cross as big as you can. This one's as important to get your arms as far as you can over so you have a large loop to jump through. Once you do a big cross, you jump up. As the rope comes over, make sure it clears your foot. Once it clears your foot, bring your hands out and then bring your leg down. If you bring your leg down too early, it's going to catch the rope um, because it's going to be crossed as it comes over. So once again, if you're doing it slow, jump over and then you're going to jump over it right there. So you'll notice that the rope is going to be in that cross position all the way to the front. I wait till it kind of passes my foot. Then I'm going to bring my arms out and jump it. So you go from here, jump past my foot and then back down. So once you can do it on the one leg, make sure you can do it on both sides. So go here, jump, and out. And you'll notice that I do slow down a little bit when I'm doing it. So when you're first starting, make sure you do that slower. Once you can get it a little better, you can speed it up a little bit, but it is generally going to be a slower trick to do. So you go here and out, here and out. So you want to make sure you get that both legs. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter which hand is on top, which hand is on bottom. Um, doesn't really matter with this trick. So whichever one you feel more comfortable with, just make sure you do it on both legs. If you do it forward, try it backwards. Um, a combination you could do with it, say if you go with a regular toad, swing your arm around, go and do the elephant cross that way. So if you went here, toad, jump, and out. Makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, try it again. Here, here. Try one more time. <laughs> go here, here. There we go. So makes them a little bit more difficult when you add the combinations in there because you got to take a couple big jumps on one leg. So but have fun with it. It's kind of a fun trick to do. It looks a little bit different than some of the other skills that you do with crossing. So that is the elephant cross. The varsity skill. For the varsity skill, we're going to be covering a EB toad wrap into a mamba. Now, there are a couple different things that you could go into with this. Uh, we'll get into that in a second, but let me just show you what it's going to look like. Uh, be like this. And that'll be what it looks like when we're finished. Now, there are a few things that you can go into out of the wrap. You can go into our JV skill, which is the elephant cross, or maybe go into a backward inverse toad, uh, a few variations. But we're going to go into a mamba um, with the one we're going to be covering. Now, what we're going to do is start off with doing an EB. Once you do your EB, go into an EB toad. You're going to jump this. Now, what you're going to do here is after you jump this, the rope's going to come over. Keep your arms in this position. You're going to kind of stick your foot out just a little bit that you're going to have the rope wrap around it. So that's where your wrap's going to be is on your leg. Let it wrap, then we're going to unwrap. So what it'll look like, go here, jump, leave my foot out here. So this is where the wrap is. You'll notice it wraps on my leg just one time. I'm going to take this arm from behind my back, stay on this foot, bring this one over unwrap, 
And then from here, we will go into the Mamba. Now, if you wanted to go into the um, Elephant Cross, you would actually just go around here, boom, jump into the Elephant Cross. You're ready to do that. Uh, but to do the Mamba, what we're going to do, we're going to go here, jump, wrap, unwrap. Right here, you're going to go onto your wrist, do your rope release, catch, and then you would jump. And catching, it's a good thing. So once again, we'll go EB, toad, jump. Once you jump it, you get that wrap, turn, unwrap, turn your body, do your mamba, and then you jump it. And it's kind of hard to do real slow, so let me go a little bit faster. So we'll go here, we we'll jump in, here, here, jump around, and that. Now, one thing to note that I'm doing here is when I do the mamba, I'm not staying on the ground, waiting for the rope, catching it, and then jumping. As soon as I do the release, I'm going to start jumping up in the air so that way it looks a little bit smoother and a little bit faster. So when I do the release, I'm going to jump kind of high, catch it in the air, and then land so that way it looks a little bit more continuous. So once more, here, wrap, unwrap, jump, and I'm ready to go. So the whole time, big thing you're going to have to remember, be a good balance on this leg, jump it, turn, spin, catch, and then land. So one more time what it looked like with the mamba. Here, jump, turn, and then you would catch it. Now if you were going to go into, say, a backward inverse toad, what you would do, same thing, here, jump, turn, jump, and then you continue to turn out. And we also, also showed you where to go into that um, uh, elephant cross if you wanted to do it that way. So once again, with the mamba here, turn, catch, and jump. And there's a lot of variations that you can do with crossing and wrapping. And I've been kind of having fun trying to think up some different types of tricks that you can do with it. And that's just one of many that you could do. But that is the um, EB toad wrap into a mamba. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.